Welcome back. It's me, Dawson Odoms, right here live at A.W. Mumford Stadium inside my office. I'm sitting here talking to none other than Connor Loper today. He's going to fill in for Coach Coleman. All our prayers go out to Coach Coleman as he uh, playing a little game of basketball, injures Achilles, and we wishing him a great surgery. So everything is going well today. We're here with Connor Loper, who's been here. He's a student assistant, going to be a graduate assistant for us in the fall. Did an outstanding job filling in. Got a chance to – Connor, you got a chance to step in the classroom a little bit and be a wide receiver coach for the Jags. How, how did that go? Oh, uh, yeah. It was good to kind of get a different level of communication with the guys and, uh, you know, get to know them better as receivers and, and try to just, you know, pick up where Coach Coleman left off if I could. Well, good deal, good deal. I know it's always a transition when you get thrown into the fire without no water, so hope you didn't get burned. So the good thing is, is that Connie's done an outstanding job since you've been here. I've been impressed with you the whole time that you've been here. You've been able to balance going to class uh, over at LSU and coming over here and helping us out. and. You know, I say thank you and I appreciate that because we understand how difficult it is to balance those kind of things, and I know it's going to pay off for you in the long run. Diving right into football, Connor, we want to talk about spring recap. Um, you know, the right receiving position, can you tell us what they improved on in uh, spring ball? Gain much more of an understanding of how this offense functions as an RPO spread tempo team. Uh, they all understand more about how they fit into the puzzle on any given play. Well, you know, and I think that's big because our offense is unique. You know, they test you sideline to sideline. They also test you end zone to end zone. And the RPO is a big part of what we do. And being able to understand where you fit in the blocking scheme, where you fit in the passing scheme. Also, where do you, where do you fit in the run pass option part of it? There's a lot of uh, intangibles that have to be put together in that puzzle. And you guys did a pretty good job of that all spring. And it was great to see it because, you know, it really gave our defenses a lot of practice at what we think we're going to see also. So, again, as the receivers continue to get better, what, who would you say was the most improved guy at y'all segment? Kobe Hartman showed the most improvement throughout the spring. He showed several flashes of tremendous athleticism. Uh, he has a much better grasp of, grasp of the offense coming out of the spring. i tell you, Kobe Hartman, long frame, great guy, got length, he's athletic. A lot of speed. And lot, great speed. You know, and I think if you get a chance to – really see the growth from his red shirt year to where he is now. I think you can see from one semester to the next semester how good of a receiver this guy can become. Another another big body that's got a chance to be a, a deep threat, an intermediate threat for the Jags. And it just goes to show you that the Jags have been doing a great job in recruiting when it comes to come to that wide receiver group. Who would you say is the biggest surprise? You know, we always talk about guys that have done it, but who just is, is somebody that the – Jaguar Nation may not know about that may have surprised us. Yeah, I got to say Norman Price was the biggest surprise coming out of spring. Uh, he showed that he can grasp this offense, and he can also make some big plays down the field given the opportunity. Uh, he, really, he really did a good job of, you know, when there's a 50-50 ball, we feel pretty good about Norman's uh, ability to come down with that ball. Norman Price, another big body receiver. I mean, our receiving core is really, I mean, we stretch now, 6'3", six, 6'4", six, you know, really, and then you throw in the little midgets that we have, so, but... They, they really give us a chance to be explosive, and I'm, I'm happy because you're right. Norman Price is a long guy that has some physicality to him in, about his presence. He demands the football, and when it's in his area, he does a great job of going out of it. So I'm just glad. Now we got to get Norman off the field, get him ready to go, but we understand on the field he's one of those guys that, that we'll love to have playing for us this year. And, again, another surprise for the Jags. Three things that you said we need to improve on this offseason. Could you elaborate for us, uh, Mr. Loper? Uh, so we want to make sure we can get lined up urgent, uh, with urgency. Uh, we're in a lot of tempo, so we want to get there, get ready to see the play, uh, get lined up pretty fast on that. Uh, we also have to be consistent in catching the football. That's just day one with wide receivers, and we also got to protect it after we do catch it uh, with good ball security. Um, and then lastly, we must, we must show tremendous and relentless effort on every play and learn to finish all the time. Well, there you have it. You know, from the right receiver coach that's filling in, a little nervous on the on the radio. Look, we got the young guy in here. You know, he's still an undergraduate, so as he as he go through college and graduate, he'll become a little bit more comfortable. But that's what Dawson Odoms does: is he bring guys out of that shell and start getting these guys in position to be able to talk to media and get the media training, whether it's on the radio, whether it's on TV, because we understand Jaguar Nation. This football program has probably the greatest fans in the country, and we want nothing more than to give you the best that we have. And our wide receiving core has gotten really, really better this spring under the tutelage of our wide receiver coach, Chris Coleman, and understudy, 
Coach Loper. And it's also great to see the tremendous talent that we have. Some guys that you may not have heard of. We got we got Bird, we got Maddie, or two other young guys that are improving at the raw right receiver spot. But what you're getting a chance to do is hear it from Coach Odoms himself, the recap of spring ball. Next up will be Coach Matt Leone, our quarterback coach of your Jags.